So over the weekend, four of the world's biggest news photo agencies actually removed this picture of Princess Kate and her three children from the feeds, just hours after it was released from Kensington Palace, saying that it may have been manipulated. It's a nice picture, but it's not authentic. The, the palace now uh, shared this now infamous image Sunday morning to honor Mother's Day in Britain, which is over the weekend, the first official photo of the princess since her abdominal surgery back in January. Now, many in the UK want answers. What's going on? So joining us now, Abby Sneeze, Royal contributor Victoria Murphy. Victoria, this is a mystery, this charming photograph, everybody looking so great, then kind of becomes monstrous when you look at, at the hand of, the, of her daughter and oh, the, the zipper on a sweater. What's going on? Hi there. Yes, I mean, a mystery indeed, and really an unprecedented situation because we've never had a situation before where major news agencies have rejected an image released by Kensington Palace and then... Kate has come forward and posted a personal message saying, yes, it was edited and apologising for that. Now, I genuinely think that this was minor edits and that this was really a case of not realising how much of a problem this would be. But it was a very, very silly mistake because, of course, they should have realised how intensely this photograph would be scrutinised. There has been so much interest in Kate's recovery and how she's doing and also so many conspiracy theories that have emerged online and they should have known that any image would be intensely scrutinized and any sign that it had been tampered with would of course lead to more conspiracy theories and that is exactly what we are seeing happen now so an image that was intended to reassure has had the opposite effect however what i think is actually a bigger problem for kensington palace right now is the fact that this image was released as a news image so it was put out via news agencies and therefore subject to the very strict standard that they have over news photographs and that's in order to prevent things like fake news and misinformation and so once it was subject to those standards it was rejected and now it has exposed Kensington Palace to this much bigger date about debate about trust and about public confidence and can we trust the information that we have from them and that is what I think is a much bigger problem for them right now. Oh, and that, that it will be a big problem. And just kind of going back to the very beginning, how this all started, Victoria, is there's a lot of people that love Kate Middleton. I mean, bottom, bottom line. And they want to know what happened and, and what type of surgery this was. She's a very private person. They're very being very private about it. Is it possible that it's just one of those procedures that is could be embarrassing for her, plain and simple, and they just don't want to talk about it and they just want to move on. You're so right. You know, there is such a huge amount of interest in her and such a huge amount of affection for her. And I think she is very much being missed on the public stage right now, particularly when the king isn't able to appear either. And I do think that people do understand that she needs to recover and people are very sympathetic to that. However, I think people were really looking forward to seeing a picture of her. And particularly because we haven't had very many updates from Kensington Palace, I think people really wanted to see how she was doing and to see that she was doing well. And that's why it's just such a shame what's happened with this picture because it had the potential to really kind of silence those conspiracies theories and to really kind of provide a much more positive narrative around her and around her recovery and instead it's had the, the complete opposite effect and we're now seeing all this criticism about trust and all of these conspiracy theories. I can understand and I do think that people do understand that she has a right not to say what it is that she's been through if she doesn't want to and she has a right to the privacy. However, I think people are really looking forward to when we can next see her and see how she's doing. Agreed. Victoria Murphy, thanks so much. Yeah, all the best to her. And thanks for streaming with us. I'm Kira Phillips. And I'm Terry Moran. ABC News Live is here for you anytime with the latest news, context, and analysis. From breaking news to all the stories that matter to you, you can always find us on your favorite streaming service, the ABC News app, and of course on abcnews.com. The news never stops, neither do we. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.